All right, so today we're going to be talking ever so briefly about the alternative band Yola Tango. So, I mean, I don't know I don't know exactly what to say about their sound or anything like that because really they just sound like kind of a almost stereotypical alternative group. Notably, Georgia Hubley and Ira Kaplan's lyrics are typically unambiguous and they rarely need to reveal the meaning of their lyrics to the audience or anything like that. They're not cryptic or anything like that most of the time. And this practice has not led to any, as far as I know, ongoing debates over the meaning of Yola Tango's music or their songs. Um, though the band is known reasonably well and they're influential, they're not overt superstars. Uh, popular songs of the band's 12th album, which was released on September 8th, 2009, actually hit on the Billboard charts at number 58, which is actually the most successful they've been as a band as far as uh, chart success. They tend to keep a relatively low profile, and, you know, it's it's uh, definitely with the independent music aesthetic, I suppose. In 1991, Yola Tango collaborated with celebrated outsider musician Daniel Johnston on his song Speeding Motorcycle. So if you're familiar with Daniel Johnston's work, you've probably uh, heard them. And uh, you should also check out the movie The Devil and Daniel Johnston as a bit of a side note. And uh, interestingly, in 2008 through 2009, the band performed under the alias Condo Fox. It's kind of a strange name, um, but they made that decision. Um, in addition to an assortment of official releases, they have released six compilations, you know, in addition to their regular studio albums, and four studio collaboration albums. Record, recorded with artists such as Jad Fair and Bardo Pond. Dave Schramm left the group to pursue separate musical projects, though he often comes back to join the band. So he's sort of an on-again, off-again member. And um, nevertheless, Kaplan, Hubley, and bassist James McNew continue to perform regularly as Yola Tango into the 21st century. And it should be noted that uh, even though uh, Ira Kaplan was born on January 7, 1957 in Queens, New York, the band itself originates in New Jersey. So they're kind of a New Jersey band, I suppose. So, um, yeah, that's really all I have to say about the band. Um, it's probably not the most exciting video that will knock your socks off, but go ahead and give it a like anyway. Who, who, who cares, you know? It's not going to kill you. You know, you can subscribe if you want. In fact, you know, um, I, I recommend it. Um, or if you want to downvote it, I don't really care either. Seems like people downvote anything. It could be the, the greatest video ever made and it'll still get a downvote. So I kind of don't care that much about that either. But <laughs> anyway, um, that's about all I need to say. Have a good day.